Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to Nerd Jacob's Clash episode. Today, we are on our Let's Play. As you can see, we have five builders available, and it is finally raid weekend once again. So, let's get right into the episode. First things first, let's just start the day off with a attack. Let's let's start off on a good note, right? Uh, we're looking for a three star. We are again using these baby dragons with the E dragon in the clan castle. Uh, I've been really enjoying this strategy. Again, it is going to help us push trophies along with at the same time. Uh, it, it's good for farming as well, right? And uh, we're always really farming at these lower town hall levels uh, because, well, we got to keep all these builders active, right? So let me just find a Town Hall 9, and we'll just go in pretty much. All right, guys, this is not a Town Hall 9, but at the same time, there is a ton of loot, and I want to try to get most of it here if we can. We do have a level 20 queen now, so it should be a little bit easier, and E-Drags sure look good on the exterior of this base. So let's start with our queen over here. Then we are going to place the healers behind. I think this will take four wall breakers again. There we go. Perfect amount. And we are going to start a rage spell here in a second once our queen walks up. Right about now. Alright, that works for me. This is a pretty decent start. She will either walk to the left or right. If she can get that uh, enemy queen in the core, that would be ideal as well, right? Um, this rage spell was great placement. Uh, this expo might be a problem, though. We're going to have to keep raging up our healers. It's more so our healers that we're raging up than our uh, queen, right? Uh, but let's start these baby dragons on the outside. We'll do them slowly here. And then once we create kind of a path, we will throw down this next rage. We'll throw down two more of these loons. And let's throw down this e-drag. It is time, right? Uh, queen is engaging on enemy queen. The e-drag is getting all the value we want at the moment. Taking down this expo is perfect. Uh, hopefully our queen will decide to go. She might be able to go into this base here. If we are. Are those wall breakers enough? No. Uh, we need to upgrade those wall breakers. That is fine though. But look at this e-drag here on the corner. I'm going to create this funnel with our king. And we will rage or invis uh, this uh, e-drag one more time here. I'm going to invis right here. Actually. Just so we get one more decent chain off of them. And the queen looks like she's going to go down, but not after we got an insane amount of loot. Uh, we're not going to get the two-star, right? Uh, if we wanted to go for the two-star, we would have had a little bit different tactic with our E-Dragon. But I wanted all the loot, and we succeeded in that fact. There's 300,000 gold left available. Where is it? Right behind there. Hmm. Two, uh, two air defenses kind of blocking the path here. We can try our best here. Terrible baby jar placement, right? We need to spread those out next time. Uh, but again, not a terrible raid. We did get 69%. Nice 1% off of uh, getting that 100% loot bonus right here. And it's not terrible in Crystal League, right? Uh, but great way to start the video. Now let's start getting some of those upgrades going. And what I was thinking, this is uh, from Judo Sloth in a sense. How he loves upgrading, not Judo Sloth, sorry. Beaker's Lab, right? Beaker's Lab loves upgrading multiple defenses all at once. I think we're going to do that today, but with our mortars. So we're going to go one, two, three, and four. All four of our mortars upgrading all at once in two days, 23 hours. We will be, we will have max mortars at Town Hall 9. And we could do uh, something similar in the next video. Uh, I didn't do that justice, right? I feel like he does that so much better in the sense he has like animations. But hey, uh, pretty good there. We have one builder left available. Again, we probably want to keep focusing on these hero upgrades. I think I'm going to start with this king upgrade right here. Level 6, going to level 16 here. Level 20 queen. Both of them need to go to level 30 eventually. Uh, not a bad way to spin that fifth builder. Finally, let's go over to this research lab right here. And we got to upgrade something, right? Uh, our army that we are currently using is maxed out, as we can see. So the next priority I really uh, want to upgrade is pr 
probably these dragons, right? Uh, because if we aren't using uh, these baby dragons, probably dragons are the next best army to use for like pushing and whatnot. So yeah, there we go. Everything is back upgrading once again. But we got to do the same thing on our builder base, right? So we've kind of been stuck in limbo over here the last couple weeks. Uh, I've been slacking, right? Uh, but in the meantime, let's keep doing these elixir collector upgrades and gold mine upgrades. Uh, they are taking a little bit longer each time, but it should help us just gain that passive income that we do need uh, to be successful over here. All right, perfect. Forget the builder base. Now we are going to raid weekend. We are hitting all three facets of the game uh, in today's episode. We are cruising here in Jacob's Clash's clan. And we are, um, let's see, Quirty is our top person. Omega's up there. Uh, Sung Hero is up there as well. Uh, but yeah, we are on raid week number eight. Let's go in and attack. So let's change up our army. Uh, the army that I have liked using recently is just these like mass cannon cart giant armies, right? Uh, so this is what I like rolling with at the moment. Uh, let's do it, right? So we are going to use a heal, a jump. Let's go attack. Builder's Workshop. All right. This is why we bring the jump right away. We're going to place down one barb to pull all these mines here. One, two, three. Uh, you can tell I've faced this map before. Then we're going to just spawn in all our giants, spawn in all of our raid carts, and yeah, that should be good. The heal was, it was a fine placement, right? I, I should have pushed it up just a little bit higher because we're not really getting any usage on this back half. Uh, but we do have a pretty decent kill squad wherever they end up going. Okay, I... You know, I kind of wish the cannon carts went with the rest of the army. Uh, call me crazy. Uh, now this giant cannon's kind of going to cook us up here. Whoa, this split is weird. Two are going this way. One is going this way. Uh, we are going to throw down this super wizard up to... Okay, yeah. I have no control over my troops. Uh, what's really new here? <laughs> I thought we... It the, uh, okay, now you shot that wall for 20 minutes and now we're uh, retargeting. It totally makes sense in my mind. Um, it could have been better, right? Uh, if everything kind of went together, the kill squad probably could have uh, killed this entire section. Or if all the giants went this way, could have killed this entire section. Instead, we're left with killing neither, right? Uh, so let's go in and try it again. This time, uh, better. So I'm going to take off some of these, uh, giants right here. Switch out for some archers yep i like this a little bit better let's go in and attack one more time here so where do we need to jump the jump best use case probably right here and we're gonna do the same thing right we're gonna pull the traps all right here no traps really all right we're gonna place the heel a little bit deeper this time one two three one come on cannon cart cannon cart cannon cart in go the cannon carts a little too late maybe uh we're gonna send in one batch of archers right there that just got obliterated by that giant cannon uh, a lack of oversight right there i'm hoping these giants can stay uh, topped up on hp here so we can kill the rest of this and we can use these sneaky archers for the back half uh it will be close uh this heal was a lot better place though as we can see uh our troops aren't taking that much damage uh, even though, well, they really should be dead by now, right? Uh, looks like we're going to lose one cannon cart here. Uh, and then we should have two full HP cannon carts, pretty much, going on to the next stage of this attack. All right, so what do we have left? Quite a bit of base, right? So we have to be very tactical before we place these two archers. I really wish I didn't waste that one set of archers now. That that was, that was quite silly. Uh, but... If we can sneak in and take out this giant cannon, I'd feel pretty confident about the rest of this attack, right? We could also... Oh, that giant bomb isn't nice. We're going to throw down the archers in front just for a little bit of damage here, just so the one shot can hopefully kill this. All right, that works. Probably should have put down those sneaky archers prior uh, to, to our cannon carts taking some shots there. Uh, it's going to be close. 
I'm going to say it's probably not going to be a three-star because we're going to get caught on that final wall there. Uh, but we might be able to pull off some magic with some distraction. Instead of having this final sneaky archer here, it might have been helpful to have a couple barbarians for those distracting type troops. But time is not going to be an issue here. Alright, they are going in on the crushers now. I'm going to throw down these set of archers. Probably, again, a little bit too soon. Oh, that's not fun that that's in range. Alright, come on. Cook cannon carts. Did it die in range? It died in range, at least. It's not going to be enough. Oh, darn. So, if that first raid, anything basically went right on that first raid, I think we get it done there. Uh, but, not, not ideal, right? We had just those final three buildings left over. Uh, sorry, clanmates. But let's go in, right? We're not going to be a bad clanmate. This is, again, one of our uh, biggest pet peeves in Clash of Clans. Our uh, friends not finishing off the base, right? We're not going to do that. We're going to go in here. We're going to finish off our mess right here. And this is easy, right? We just throw everything down. Overpowering. We're not going to lose a... Okay, we lost a couple archers, but we didn't lose a single troop. And on to the next one, right? So we have three more attacks overall here. And we can, well, we have to, I was like, we can clean up Barbarian Camp. You got to, Jacob, right? So let's again go in with the same army. What army do you guys typically use for this, like, Builder Hall? Uh, what are we, Builder Hall 5, 6? We haven't unlocked Rage yet. We haven't unlocked a lot of things, right? So we're kind of just playing with what we got. And I don't know, I, I, what I should have used here is the super archers. And I think that's what we're going to use on this back half. I think we're going to try to uh, do this kill squad up here and just basically see what happens. Again, why are you going over there, giant? We're going to throw down two right there. And then we'll throw down one with this giant over here. This jump, we can do a jump right here. And let's space out these sneaky archers just so we can get some more value. This is looking fine. Those giant bombs are wrecking havoc. We're going to throw down final little sneaky archers right in there. And this next this next attack is going to be fun, guys. I don't know if it is going to work to perfection, per se. Uh, but you know we're going to chain all of that with the, the, the super uh, wizards. And I think it should work, right? These three cannon carts off to the side are doing some pretty decent value. Meaning our chain won't do as awesomeness. <laughs> but uh, there we go. We're, we're going to end this up. Everything is dead. Now we want to go in with a ton of giants. I think we can jump right here, actually. That might be a little bit better. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to change up this army. We're going to do like seven... Six. This is going to be either crazy bad or crazy awesome. You know we're going to try it regardless. Uh, three, two, uh, one. Let's go in. Uh, well, if you would train your entire army, Jacob. All right, now let's go in. All right, we are going to jump right here. Again, the heal is perfectly placed already, but we do want just basically a double heal, right? So I'm going to place another heal just right here, and we're basically just going in, right? Uh, no fear. We're going to go in with our super wizards behind, and they should just chain out this entire base. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. That was pretty fire. Uh, these super wizards will hopefully just keep doing their job here. Chain, 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 chain. It's not going to be enough, though, right? Uh, we should have done the Super Wizards last time. Uh, because now, look. All these Super Wizards are going to die in, like, one cannon shot. Unless we can out-heal... Okay, never mind. I forgot they have a rocket artillery at this level. Uh, we should be able to clean this up on the very next battle, though. Uh, can we throw this down? Can we get some value? That was pretty decent value out of those. Uh, Alright. Let's go finish this off. I think we can get it down with definitely not the, the super wizards, right? The super wizards probably won't work for that anymore. Uh, but I'm going to say mass balloons. 
I saw a lot of air defenses up there. I'm not really worried about it though, right? We, we have a incredible amount of balloons here. Uh, we can spawn them basically right on top of everything. So I'm going to throw down a heal right here. We're going to go one, two, three. Go one, two, three. We're just going to overwhelm the base here if we can, just with these balloons. And it looks like that should be a three star. Nice. All right. I was hoping that was going to work. I was like, uh, I think this should, right? Uh, now it's just going to be these very annoying uh, giants. So hopefully they just fly over. And no, it's going to take a while. So I will cut once this is finished. All right. There we go. A perfect three star and that should be all six of our attacks right so i don't we had to clean up right so we didn't do that great overall uh but we did set up the next individual to attack capital peak let's go in here and spend our loot real quick where is it Eleven thousand. we are upgrading that capital hall and that will be huge uh because then we will unlock that rage tower so you know i'm pumping all eleven thousand into that capital hall I will even prioritize this. Everyone, go, go, go. We got to upgrade that. Let's go. I also saw we're almost in Crystal League for the clan right here at 1995. Not too bad, right? We are cruising. And I think that'll be all for this episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know it was kind of sporadic. We we're jumping around. We upgraded all our mortars. We did all six clan capital attacks. And, well, we hit up on a Town Hall 10. So overall... I hope you guys have a great day. I've been Jacob as always. Come back tomorrow for more Clash of Clans content. Have a great night. Goodbye.